Like trees for Christmas or eggs for Easter, pumpkins pop up everywhere around Halloween. Now you probably saw a bunch of jack-o'-lanterns while trick-or-treating tonight. But how did pumpkins become the symbol of Halloween? Good question. Heather Brown explains the root of the tradition. We use pumpkins for a whole lot of things. The backdrop for cute kid photos, the PSL of course, delicious pie. But why do we carve designs into them during the month of October? For this answer, we turn to Leslie Ballatine, author of five books on Halloween. She says carving vegetables was big in Europe for centuries. They were easy decorations. The French dug into big beets at Christmas. The Irish and the Scots carved faces into turnips this time of year. It was a way for them to remind people that the spirit world is present as we move into the winter. Remember, back then, this was the beginning of a cold, dark, and dangerous season, so they needed some way to scare away the evil spirits. Well, as the Irish immigrants made their way to America, they brought along this carving tradition. They also switched out the turnips for pumpkins just because there's so many of them here and they're easier to carve. But what about jack-o'-lantern? Where does that come from? Well, likely, that's an old Irish legend about a man named Stingy Jack who tricked the devil more than a few times. When Stingy Jack died, he wasn't allowed in heaven, and the devil wouldn't let him in hell. So the devil sent Jack off with a burning coal, which he put in his carved out turnip. And the restless soul of Jack of the Lantern has been roaming the earth ever since. Then fast forward to the 1800s when we started carving things like Cinderella and Snow White into pumpkins. That was when the Halloween party hostesses really took over this tradition. And then fast forward to 2003, when the pumpkin spice latte was born. Heather Brown, WCCO, 4 News. And look at this cute little pumpkin. This is Candace Ann Myers grandson Camden. And right here, you're taking a look at Vera's very first Halloween. Lori's grandson was a shark. And then Grand Slam tweeted this little bat and we asked you to share all of your pictures with us the costumes with us and we had a lot of fun you can share your photos on social media not just a shark a baby shark a baby shark have you seen all that oh look there's hammer time right there so cute that was mc hammer yeah.